He already inspected the building five times. He can look at the locked box outside and he can go at the trash outside. You don't because you're going to let him in there and that's a Fourth Amendment right violation. But if, if you push too hard and you interfere, oh, I'm not interfering. Right. For what? I mean, hey. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. So. Okay, arrest him for Fourth Amendment right violation. They passed that, they passed the front door. But now, since I'm defending my rights as a constitution for a Fourth Amendment right violation, they think they can just bully me. It's a First Amendment right. I'm not. What, what First Amendment right did I violate? I'm not. You're either going to respect this place or you're going to be asked to walk out. You're Am I under right. duress of arrest? You're going to go to jail if you I'm going to be arrested. Let's Fine. Go. Okay. Here. You shut your mouth and let me finish my talk. You don't want. I can say that it's protected. This is the case law. I don't give a shit what you say. When he said, "Stop talking and just sue me." Okay, chief. Here we go. Three minutes are up. These are your lawsuits. Let's put the picture up full mass. Backed by popular demand, corrupt police chief of Aransas Pass, Texas, Eric Blanchard is now being sued after months of terrorizing a local business owner, trying to rack up all these unnecessary fines that aren't even legitimate. He was also caught stealing taxpayer money, buying a $1,200 suit, then tried to cover it up. When citizens went to the city council meeting, to speak out about this, the mayor violated the right to free speech, having the police to remove them by force. Civil rights attorney C.J. Grisham decided to attend one of the meetings himself, where he was also removed by force under the threat of arrest. Now, Chief Eric Blanchard is the defendant in a multi-million dollar lawsuit, along with the mayor, and there's a lot of people upset about it. So go ahead, guys, get your chin straps buckled. Find you something to grab onto, because it's going to be a bumpy ride. Be sure to subscribe, like, and let me know what you think in the comments. Let's go. Okay, and they're going to well, finish finish your inspection. You're not, they're not coming in my building, not based yeah. on this. Mr. No, this is for outside and a key lock outside. We're, what do they need to see in my building? Go ahead. To, we have to finish the inspection. Okay, no, the inspection is done. What do you need to see in my building? That's all I need to know. He's going to inspect the building? He already inspected yes. the building five times. Inspect the doors. That he can look at the lock box outside and he can go to the trash outside. You don't because you're going to let him in there and that's a Fourth Amendment right violation. Okay. If you let him in there, you're a piece of shit like them. Okay, I'm sorry that you have to relate that to that, but... I do! How do you not understand that? You took an oath to the Fourth Amendment. You're right. Sir. You took an oath to the Constitution. You're, right. you're going to let them come on my property for something outside of my property? We have then a you're a piece of shit, sir. Okay. We have a valid search warrant. Well, we're going to enforce that search warrant. I'm not going to calm down. They keep violating my Fourth Amendment rights. I'm going to have your fucking job too. Get him in here! All y'all can get fucking fired, y'all pieces of shit. Check this shit out, dude. They're coming in my building for two things outside of my building, and they're gonna trespass Fourth Amendment rights right now. Go ahead, you piece of shit. Walk in there. Fourth Amendment right violation. All unlawful search and seizure. Boom. You two party? Unlawful search and seizure. You going inside, sir? I recommend you don't if you took an oath of the Fourth Amendment. Thank you, sir. So you're looking for something outside? And you're looking for a lockbox. That is it. What else are you looking for? Just let him do what he's got to do. No, sir, I got it right here what he's supposed to do. I understand, but if, if you push too hard and you interfere, oh, I'm not interfering. Right. For what? I mean, you can't do that? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Okay, arrest him for Fourth Amendment right violations. I, look, Mr. Paul, I just want you to understand. Corey, you're on my shit list, dude. You're going to be one of the ones getting terminated now. Come behind my alley and harass me. And I thought you were a good dude. If you were following orders, then you need to say so. If not, I'm gonna have your fucking job too. Hey, Chief. He was explaining to me that this is just like an emer not an emergency exit. This has nothing to do with what's on your what's yes, on your search warrant. He's saying that the other doors allow. Sorry. Did they make you do this? Appropriate. I guess there's one over there and one in the I'm door. asking. I've never been. In yes store. or no? Okay. Well, just so you know. It's pretty what shady. Does that, what does that have to do with a lockbox and a piece of trash outside? So he can find some codes that matches the That's what they're doing. They're trying to fuck me harass me. Fifth fucking time in my building. Harassing me over bullshit codes. And that piece of shit don't even know how to read them. Fucking idiots. Going back there has nothing to do with a piece of trash outside or a lockbox outside. It's now been, what, four months of harassment by these guys. 
four fucking months. Place five times and did it yearly. And under on their first time they inspected it, there was no issues with any of this bullshit. They passed that, they passed the front door. But now since I'm defending my rights as a constitution for a Fourth Amendment right violation, they think they can just bully me. And it won't fucking happen. You all get fired. Fuck all y'all. <laughs> Oh, check this out, guys. It says they can go look at something outside my property, and they can look at a lockbox outside my property. Nothing about coming in my building to look for more fucking hazards that don't fucking exist. You're the one coming to harass me because of these guys? He's not harassing you, Mr. Paul. Bullshit, dude. This harassment, 110%. This is the fifth time coming out here for a two-year yearly inspection. We are trying to finish the initial inspection. Bullshit, it was already done. They did a complete walkthrough that day. Okay. What are you doing out of bullshit? I'm sorry for the harassment. Thank you. So after illegally raiding this man's business five times in four months, and it's only supposed to be inspected biannually, which means once every two years, let's find out what happens whenever Mr. Followell takes these phony citations they gave him to court. And all right, CJ, tell us what happened. Well, we went in here, we got uh, everything dismissed against you. We filed a motion to suppress the evidence because of uh, lack of a warrant and lack of a probable cause to even get a warrant. So you are now, essentially you're a free man. I'm no they longer can't a use... criminal. So meanwhile, while this police chief is going around terrorizing business owners in the area, he's also using the taxpayer money as his personal piggy bank as he purchases a $1,200 suit illegally using taxpayer money and is then caught by Mr. Followell here. Let's roll out the evidence. Gary Shrugs is on Facebook, texting people, calling people, telling people that I am harassing the city, I am harassing Chief Blanchard, and all I do is lie. And that Chief Blanchard's suit was in the manual, and he was allowed to purchase it according to their charter. Well... That's complete BS. They keep lying to you, and she don't show you any evidence, so I gladly will. <clears throat> Here we go. Chief Blanchard's expense. 91023, men's warehouse. Personally fitted suit for $1,247, guys. What does that mean? Well, personally, you cannot buy anything personal, meaning that the law explicitly states you cannot buy personal items with government funds. Personally fitted suit hits that target. I don't know why the numbers here are penciled in, but they are. You can see this is Eric Blanchard on 10 6, all right? And this is Sandra Garcia approving it on 10 13. And Sandra is not his boss. This should be Gary Edwards on there, so they're not following their policy to begin with. Eric does not work for the financial department. <clears throat> anyway, she approved this illegal document. Good for you, Sandra. This is the receipt $1,247. Not going to beat you up on it. Everybody in town knows that Chief Blanchard bought a suit with our money. Now, this is the city of Iran's pass authorization form for Chief Blanchard to pay back the suit only because I brought it up. And as you can see, the date is 1020 when he first started paying this, and he signed for this on 1011. So they did not start this until 1011, guys, and I had already talked about this and already brought it up way before then, and Carrie's trying to act like I did not, because what? She's a liar. Now, here's the second payroll deduction for 447 and i'll tell you why they can't legally make him pay this back and that they're breaking the law again but i'll show you that in a minute what i want to specify here is this i'm sorry this is the acknowledgement form so carrie's out there saying that gary edwards had no clue about this policy didn't know anything about it well he signed this 928.17 he knew here's chief blanchard's from the city he signed it too back in 2019 they know now, <clears throat> all right, this is a text message between Carrie Shrugs and a citizen in town. I'm not going to disclose her name. She was asking questions, as she is allotted to. She's asking, basically, why isn't uh, Chief Blanchard being charged for theft for stealing a suit? Carrie's response is, thank you for asking. The old policy manual that is being reviewed now, per Gary Edwards' request, has a uniform allowance. The specifics are vague as written, so they're going to redo it, right? I've stated this before on Facebook posts. When the financial director received the CC statement, she took it to the Gary Edwards city manager. He was unaware of the policy uniform. BS, as I've already showed you, he's aware of all policies. He's full of crap. 
It's unusual for this expense according to history. Unusual, yeah, because it's theft. Even the old mayor, Tommy Knight, got on there and said he's never heard of that in the entire time he was the, he was the mayor of Aransas Pass. Texas law will tell you anything by, that you buy personally is illegal and against the law. Singwood Chief, he then became aware of the current policy, BS guys, which as I stated before is being revised. Why are they reviving this policy? Well, I'll show you. But <clears throat> Edwards told Chief that because of the current harassment from me, Mr. Followell, he thought it best to pay this back. Well, if it's not against the law and it's within policy, they can't force him to pay it back anyway. So that should throw up a red flag for everybody in this town. Chief pointed out again, it was not against policy, but agreed to, but agreed to not have the controversy and he would reimburse, reimburse the suit a hundred percent. All of this was done 30 days before follow well accusations. Well, guys, I showed you earlier, I started doing that before that, right? They didn't start anything like on this until, uh, 10-11, 2023. Uh, this was done before follow of inaccuracy began, the crusade against the purchase. It's not a crusade, buddy. It's theft, and this is a Class A misdemeanor, and Chief Blanchard needs to go to prison. Okay, guys, so as you can see here, I started asking questions back in October 13th, right? I wanted to know about the trip, wanted to know what was going on, started posting stuff on Facebook in November because it takes a long time to get data back from these guys, but I want you to pay attention back over here. Check this out. This expense wasn't even approved until 1013. So it wasn't approved at all until 1013. And as you can see down there, what I showed you earlier, he started paying it back on 1011. It wasn't even approved yet. Go figure, right? Okay, chase and tell, chase and tell. All right, here's a uniform policy that everybody keeps talking about. Well, Carrie keeps lying about, rather. Check this out. Let's do this. We'll put in reimburse. Let's hit enter. Oh, nothing in there about reimbursement. Not a single word about reimbursing uniforms at all. Crazy, right? It does talk about Chief Blanchard's uniform, and the highest uniform you can have is a Class A. Class A is a dress hat, which he didn't have. He had long sleeve. He had tie back. He had a skirt, right? Or trousers, I'm sorry. Black belt. <clears throat> Dark blue, he had. He had. Now, black polished dress shoes, negative. He had brown shoes. Uh, boots with pointed toes are not permitted. Well, his were pointed, and he didn't have white gloves. This is not not hit the criteria of a uniform. A business personally fitted suit is nowhere in the APD manual. They're lying to you. City of Aransas Pass policy manual. Let's click reimburse. Here we go. What does it talk about? Reimbursement for tuition. Now, there's another one. Reimbursement for tuition, and then that's the end of your document. Now, the police policy manual 1024-2 I want to talk about, so I want to show it to you. What's it say here? The Aransas Pass Police Department will provide uniforms for all employees. There again is nothing in here about reimbursement. Ready? The requester will, require, will be required to reimburse the department of members' compensation business and the costs associated with the outside services. Uh oh, I'm fucked up. All right, so we click reimbursement on the policy manual, right? We get this, any private entity or organization, individual seeking special services as a reimbursement. Oh, that's it. Nothing about uniform reimbursements in the Aransas Pass Police Department manual. They're lying. Now, this is the Aransas Pass purchasing guidelines. Let's hit reimbursement. Not a single thing in there, nothing. You know what it does say though? Personal purchases. City employees are strictly for, prohibited from using their position or their name to purchase items or services for personal use. A personally set it food suit is illegal. Texas Administrative Code 557. Refunds. A state agency may not accept cash refunds for a purchase if the agency paid for the purchase with a payment card. Chief Blanchard illegally used our Amex card to make a purchase. Gary and Gary and the financial director cannot make him pay that back with cash money. With that said, they do have to follow the law. What is the law? Penal Code 3902, Abuse of Official Capacity. A public servant commits an offense if with intent to obtain benefit. He wanted a personally fitted suit. Crazy, right? Anyway, Chief Blanchard obtained a new $1,247 
personally is the key word, fitted suit with the taxpayer's money. This is a class A misdemeanor. They are trying to cover it up. He needs to go to jail. Thank you. Have a good night. So now that it's been discovered that the police chief, Eric Blanchard, is stealing taxpayer money and spending it on personal suits. So Mr. Followell decides to go to city council to call out this theft of taxpayer money, which results in the mayor ordering the police to have him removed from the meeting. But don't just take my word for it. Here's the video. Jason Followell, I guess your nemesis here, huh? Because y'all hate me when I come up here. All right, I'm going to talk about Chief Blanchard and Gary Edwards. So Chief Blanchard went to the men's warehouse and purchased a $1,200 personal fitted suit with our taxpayers' money. Did y'all know that? No. Now, of course not, because they're not going to let you know that, but I have the documents and I can show y'all. So in case y'all didn't know this, Texas Administrative Code Rule 5.57 makes him accountable. He's supposed to incorrect these discrepancies and apply the law. The law says, <clears throat> Penal Code 3902, abuse of official capacity. Misuse of government property is a Class A misdemeanor. Your boss committed a Class A misdemeanor. Will you arrest him? You can answer the question, and I can show you the documents. Will you do it? I'm not answering the question. There you go. Gary Edwards gave Chief Blanchard a $1,200 suit and approved it on his Amex. What does that mean Gary Edwards did? Well, Gary Edwards, Penal Code 3609, offering a gift to a perfect servant is a Class A misdemeanor. You broke the law. Will you arrest Gary Edwards? You're in Chief Blanchard's suit, so i got to go with you. Jones, will you uphold the law or not? I don't know all the details. Of I'll give them to you after this if you want to. Can you sit down with me? Okay. You got it. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Jones. <clears throat> These two, I'm talking about Gary Edwards and Blanchard, cannot claim ignorance. I have their papers right here where they say, signed the policy manual, particularly over the financial statements, so they know they did wrong. Citizens, if you stole $1,200, would you go to jail? That man would arrest you right now. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. We citizens expect Gary Edwards to be fired immediately. Vicki Abrega, if you do not vote to fire Gary Edwards for his crimes, you will be replaced this year by either Randy or by Mr. Davila. Joe! Shame on you, Joe. So far, you haven't did anything for us public people. Not one damn thing. Here's your chance. Vote for him to be fired, and you get my back. Ram! I never had a problem with you, Ram. I don't care about all your dirty laundry, laundry and baby mamas you have that are 16 years old. Doesn't bother me a bit. But when it comes to defending us, you should be doing it. We expect you to fire this man. And I'm not talking three days from now, 10 days from now, immediately. Gary Shrubs, <laughs> if you stand with Chief Blanchard and Gary on this, I have a petition I've already asked Mary for it. I re will call your ass, and you can bet these citizens out here are going to sign it this year. You'll be gone, and we'll replace you with Randy or Mr. Davila. We are tired of it. And if y'all can't do your job, we can always call the sheriff, Oscar. Or, uh, Oscar Rivera, San Patricio County, 361-364-9600. We can demand him to do his job, too. He's also elected, so if he don't do his job, we can get his ass out of here, too. <laughs> also, please keep that one on a leash. Every time he talks and bashes me on public Facebook or social media, everybody's IQ in the entire town goes down. He's a fucking moron. Mr. Moron. No, no, wait a minute. We're, we're, we're not gonna I can say what I want to no, say, and you can shut your mouth. You can shut your mouth. You can shut your mouth. You can shut your mouth and let no, me finish my talk with you. Five miles. Three minutes. I don't know what you don't want. No, you you want to speak right? No, you need to speak right. You kiss my ass. You better get you escorted out. Kiss my ass. Hey, Go ahead and get him out. Get first him out of here. Right, no, get him out of here. First, I'm not going to put up with you. Foul him out. That is a first. No, go. Go. If you touch me, I'll touch you back. First Amendment right violation. You can't do that. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to put up with any of that. Ain't nobody need to be cussing anybody out. That's ridiculous behavior. No, 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 no. If you want to speak, you'll come up here. No, if you want to speak, come up here. If not, you can leave also, too. So now that it's very apparent that the police chief and the mayor are breaking the law and doing everything they can to cover their tracks. C.J. Grisham then decides to aid Mr. Followell in attending the city council meeting to explain the law to the mayor, which results in the mayor also calling the police on civil rights attorney C.J. Grisham, violating his right to free speech as well. Here's the video. Jason Paul, uh, one of the only people in the room that tells you the truth. Uh, by the way, your citizens' comments so are bullshit. You can do everything you can say with not being wrong. Uh, I can personally affront you because you do whatever I want, and you have to listen to me because you work for me. You need to remember that way. All right. 
Chief Blanchard, you piece of shit. Chief Blanchard, 1247, you stay. Excuse me? Excuse me? I just read you. And you're wrong, and you're lying to the public. I'm not going to put up. I'm not going to put up with any defamation of cover, character. That's not defamation of fact. I, I don't care. And you I'm not going to put up with no profanity or anything. You either act like an adult and speak right to everybody that's here, and you have the privilege to speak your mind. For privilege. Three minutes. You work for I'm me, saying, boy. You need to remember that. Saying, go ahead. That's your go. warning. Okay, I, I'm telling you. Now rewind my clock while I finish my statement. Go ahead. Thank you, sir. Chief Blanchard. $1,247 fitted suit you stole from the company. From us. You work for us. On 910-23. Carrie Shrubs, you lied to the public. Carrie Shrubs on Facebook stated that these personally fitted suits were pre-approved by the council and manager in 2011. Jason Knight's dad was that man, man was that mayor then. Guess what he said, Carrie? Never approved that. Laugh at me all you want. Modification to the here. policy manual took reason. place almost 40 days after I complained about him. Y'all modified it. Why did y'all modify it? You know when it was modified before, Kerry? Not 2011, I do. 2019, 2014, 2004. You lied to the public. Even with the recent modifications, a Class A uniform is the highest uniform APD has, and it is not a suit, you scumbag. Uniform Class A, did you have a dress hat? No, you did not. Long sleeve, did you have, did you have that? Yes, you did. Tie, yes, trousers, yes, skirt, I mean, maybe. Mr. Mayor. Black belt, I'm talking, it's my turn to talk. Attack once again, Mayor. Peace. Well, you, I don't give a crap what you say, you shit. Okay, now, there it is again. I can talk like that. It's the First Amendment right. Chief Blanchard, what First Amendment right do you violate? I'm no, I'm not. He's the I'm cop. You tell me. I'm not. What, what First Amendment right did I violate? I'm not. You're either going to respect this place or you're going to be asked to walk out. You're Am out. I under the arrest of arrest? You're going to go to jail if you I'm going to be arrested. Let's Fine. Go. Okay. Here. Oh, I can go. Uh, Mr. Mayor, City Council. Uh, what I just witnessed was a violation of Mr. Followell's rights. Uh, let me read something to you. Arresting someone in retaliation for the exercise of free speech rights is sufficient to chill speech as an understatement. This is Beck v. City of Upland. Uh, Arguing, even if done loudly with a profane or offensive language, will, language will not, in and of itself, constitute disorderly conduct. That's pain v. Polly. Swear words do not provide probable cause for an arrest for disorderly conduct because the words, as a matter of law, are not fighting words. Johnson v. Campbell. I could go on, Mr. Mayor. Your rules of decorum are unconstitutional, and they're setting the city up, you individually, you individually for liability. Now, you will be seeing a letter from me, a demand letter for violating my client's rights just now because he has the right to say fuck, shit, damn, bitch, cunt, whatever. Oh. He has the right to say all of those words Lord, because it is a First Amendment right. You can't do anything about it. Let me tell you something. The law has long established that arresting an individual for publicly displaying vulgarities violates the First Amendment. That's the Cohen case, 1969. Indeed, the Supreme Court recently held that a public school violated the free speech rights of a cheerleader by suspending her when she said things like, fuck school, fuck softball, fuck cheer, fuck everything. Then there was another, uh, that's uh, Mahoney, Mahoney Area School District, VBL. Uh, there's also Eaches v. Steelman saying that a police officer was not entitled to qualified immunity for arresting a plaintiff who said, fuck you. Did you hear that? Here we go. No qualified immunity. So I can say fuck throughout my entire three minutes. I can say fuck again, and I can say fuck again, and there's nothing you can do about it because it's called expressive speech. We are allowed to express ourselves. We are allowed to fucking talk about what we think about you. If I think you, Mr. Mayor, are a tyrant, I can say that. If I think the city manager is a piece of shit, I can okay, say that. It's I'm protected. Not, gonna, okay. This is the case I'm, law. I'm not, I'm not I don't give a anymore. shit what you, you think. Be a the law is right. You escort me out, I'll sue you as well, Mr. Mayor. You can do whatever you want. This is the law no, right no, here. No, and if these no, chiefs no, come no, out no, here no, and pull me out of this meeting, you had better read this.
this, Chief, because he's telling you to break the law. Mayor, no, I'm not. Come yeah. Mayor. You can take him out. Now, where'd that coward can you carry scrubs go? You go out. Where'd the coward carry scrubs no, go? Take him out. Is my three minutes up? No. Is my, what am I gone for? What am I gone for? No, no. I'm going to go to jail for this. Oh, you're going to arrest me? Oh, you're going to arrest me? Okay, so under the threat of arrest, you just find right. Oh. Is my three minutes up? You're gone. Is my, what am I gone for? What am I gone for? violating the rules of the decorum. No, no. I, he, his rules of decorum violate the law. Goodbye. You're going to go to jail for just. Oh, you're going to arrest me? Oh, you're going to arrest me? Okay, so under the threat of arrest, you just violated my right, you piece of shit, cunt motherfucker. And now, folks, the moment we've all been waiting for. This has been asked hundreds, if not thousands of times. People calling on this place to be sued. This city is ran by nothing but criminals. This doesn't even scratch the surface of all the criminal activity this place has done. There's plenty of evidence on the Jason Followell channel, and I'll leave a link to that in the description, as well as civil rights attorney C.J. Grisham. Both these guys are doing an amazing job. Be sure y'all check them out, and let's see those lawsuits get handed out. Good. Uh, Miss Scruggs, you can stay. I'm not going to be saying fuck a lot this time. Uh, I owe you some apologies. One, for the way I dress. As a professional, I've neglected to come to these meetings appropriately dressed, perhaps not looking like your definition of a professional. I've worn t-shirts, I've worn hoodies, when such royalty as yourself deserves Sunday best. After all, I think the mayor said it best when he said we should treat this place with the same decorum as we would a church. Unfortunately, I don't have the access to the city's credit card that the chief does. I can't buy a $1,200 suit. And I ignored the fact that you are to be worshipped in this temple of government, not held accountable. I apologize. Number two, for the way I talk. I didn't realize that being way down here in southern Texas, it's entirely possible that word of the ratified 1791 Constitution that included the First Amendment might not have hit these parts yet and that you're supposed to obey them. Uh, I meant to bring a copy for each of you, but my scribe ran out of parchment paper, molted flight feathers, a quill, and an inkwell. I apologize. I apologize for the company I keep. Chief Blanchard tried to warn me long ago during a meeting that he recorded and hasn't yet released that Mr. Followell was a criminal. I should be careful with whom I associate. Apparently criminals don't, aren't allowed to have attorneys or something like that. But we'll find out soon enough. I should have listened. I didn't take the time to see things from a tyrant's perspective. I apologize. But all that changes now. Chief Blanchard was right. Anyone can Google stuff. Anyone can quote case law. We just didn't have the facts. We've just been wrong all this time when we spoke to you about gun rights, when we spoke to you about free speech, when we spoke to you about warrantless searches and faulty warrants based on no probable cause. When we demanded equal treatment of the law, we were just wrong. When we tried to educate you on the meaning of rubbish. By the way, just look in a mirror. <laughs> After all, Chief Blanchard has been a cop for 24 years now. You all have been tyrants your whole life. Uh, who are we to ignore this experience? Maybe you are the ones that are right all along. Last time I was here, Chief Blanchard gave me some advice and I'm finally going to obey. It's important to respect and obey our police chiefs. They know better than anyone in this room what is good for us. They're smarter alone on their worst days than all of us are collectively on our best days. Otherwise, surely you wouldn't keep this guy employed as your police chief, right? So I'm taking the advice he gave me when he threatened to arrest me last time I was here for daring to read the words of the Supreme Court when he said, stop talking and just sue me. Okay, Chief, here we go. Three minutes are up. These are your lawsuits. Good job, CJ. Good job, CJ. Thank you. Thank you. Well, you got what you asked for, huh, Chief? Now you're being sued along with the mayor. You probably won't keep your job after this. 
You've been humiliated in front of millions of people. So was it worth it? Harassing this man, going to his business, stealing taxpayer money. It ain't just him being sued, it's also the mayor. I hope and pray these guys win and take your job from you, as well as the mayor. But let me know what you guys think. You think he should keep his job? You think he should lose it? You think this lawsuit, CJ and Jason will win? Anyways, guys, I'm going to leave links to their channels in the description. As I said earlier, these dudes are doing an amazing job. Be sure y'all check them out. And if you made it this far in the video, folks, go ahead and subscribe. It's free. And smash that thumbs up before you go. I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of their day. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.